Lastly, a relation R is said to be a total order relation if it is reflexive, antisymmetric and transitive. That is, the relation has to be a partial order relation and there is an extra condition. The extra condition is that for all x, y which belongs to the set A, either x has to be related to y or y has to be related to x. So for any two elements in the set A, if you take any two elements in the set A, either x has to be related to y or y has to be related to x. Something has to happen. If this condition is also valid, then it is called a partial order relation. Sorry, total order relation. Now let us take an example. So let us say that R is a relation from the set 1, 2, 3, 4 to set 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you have all the reflexive elements 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4. So this relation is reflexive. And you have elements 1, 2, 2, 3. And you don't have 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 3. So you don't have 2, 1, 3, 1 and 3, 2. So this is anti-symmetric. So you have only elements of the form AB. You won't have elements of the form B. And thirdly, this is transitive because you have 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 3. So you have only one set of the form AB, BC. You have AC correspond to them. So this relation is reflexive, transitive and anti-symmetric. So this is a partial order relation. Now what is the extra condition which needs to be valid for this to be a total order relation? So if you take any two elements, either first element has to be related to second element or second element has to be related to first element. So let us take 1 and 2. You can see that 1 is related to 2. Let us take 1 and 3. 1 is related to 3. Let us take 1 and 4. 1 and 4. So 1 is not related to 4 or 4 is not related to 1. So this is not a total order relation. So if you want to make this a total order relation, what are the extra connections that you need to make? So I will take 4 is related to now correspond to 1, 2 you have an element, correspond to 1, 3 you have an element, correspond to 1, 4 you have an element. Now correspond to 2, 3 you have an element, correspond to 2, 4. 2 is not related to 4, neither 4 is related to 2. So out of 2, 4 and 4, 2 you should have at least one of them. So let us take 2 is related to 4. <coughs> Next, <coughs> out of 3 and 4. Neither 3 is related to 4 nor 4 is related to 3. So I will take one of them. 3 is related to 4. So now this has become anti-symmetric with this condition. But there is some problem with the transitivity condition. So you have some extra elements. So you need to take care of the transitivity part. So if you take this relation, what are the elements that are present? 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4 and you have 1, 2 and 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, you have 2, 3 and 2, 4, 2, 3 and 2, 4, next you have 3, 4, you have 3, 4, Three, four. This is the relation that we have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you have 4, 1 also. 4, 1. So these are the elements. Now let us see whether it is a total order relation or not. So let us see. Let us check the transitivity. So you have 1, 2, and 2, 3. 1, 2, and 2, 3. You have 1, 3 also. So you have 1, 2, 2, 4. So you have to have 1, 4. You have 1, 2, 2, 4. You have to have 1, 4. But if you have 1, 4, the anti-symmetry will be disturbed. So if you take these elements, you cannot make this a total order relation. So you, can, you have to understand why this is called a total order relation. So here the difficulty came because 
you are connecting one two that is one is small two is bigger two three three four so as long as you go in one particular order that is you are increasing the numbers you won't have any problem so one two two three three four four one four is larger one is smaller so you should not take elements of this form if you are going in one particular order you have to go in the same particular order otherwise you will have problems so first what we do is so instead of four one let us consider one four so one 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 two one three one four two 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 three two four three 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 four 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 so if you take these elements so instead of four one so instead of four one so let us take one four as the element inside this so now let us see whether it is a total order relation or not so obviously this is reflexive anti symmetric these two are satisfied and this is also satisfied because for every two elements i have taken either x is related to y or y is related to x now is this a transitive relation yes we have 1 2 2 3 1 3 have 1 2 2 4 we have 1 4 we have 1 3 3 4 we have 1 4 We have two, three, three, four. We have two, four. We have two, four, four, four. We have two, four again. So correspond to every pair of A, B, B, C. You have the element A, C. Hence, this is called a total order relation. You should also understand why this name is logical to this type of function. So total order. Order it means the relative order of the element and its image. So here, as you can see, the image is always greater than or equal to the element. So you cannot go in the reverse order. So if you go in the reverse order, you cannot make this a total order relation. So in every total order relation, either all the images will be greater than or equal to the Elements are less than or equal to the elements. That is, you follow a particular order. So I hope you understand all the different types of relations. Now let us take some examples to understand how we prove or disprove that the relations are satisfying certain types. <laughs> 